Well, this one is a little bit of a shocker from Dasung. Dasung, if you don't know, is a manufacturer out of China who makes monitors. That's all they were. That's all they are. They've started dabbling in different things like the not e-readers and a weird choice to go with an A4, which is a hodgepodge of old DPT parts from Sony kicking around. Yes, really. This is another curveball from Dasung, the e-ink phone monitor called the Dasung Link. And we're going to crack it open right now. Word around the water cooler, and by that I mean the coffee machine here at Goody Reader in the office, is that this was coming in. This is from Dasung. Thank you to Dasung for sending us this unit. You know, we have heard a few things about this. I honestly don't know too much about what's going on, but that's what the unboxing's for, everyone. And don't worry, we will get into a full review and show you the turbo refresh that Dasung has labeled Dasung Turbo on here, and we'll give you a better idea of what's happening. But just this having 300 PPI is freaking crazy. So the link is here, and the link's power is here. Now, I saw some original content that they put out that they kind of link together. All pun intended, I guess. Let's just see what's happening here. This is all in Chinese. We're obviously going to contact Dasung and figure out what everything is, what everything does. Is there anything else in here? No, that's really light. Nice foam insert there, so there's nothing else inside there. This looks like it has some sort of battery bulge. We're going to check it out right now. Crack this open and see what is inside. Now, the base is silicone, so that is a kind of very light silicone, but the overall shell is incredibly sturdy. That's all. That's all together you do have a USB-C acceptor on the inside so I imagine you slide it in like that just like it says do not charge other devices all right well if something does fit in here don't do it it's probably just a disclaimer I'm sure it'll be fine it's just an external battery so if it does fit go for it I guess but don't do it <laughs> we'll leave that up to you does look like this is completely dead we're gonna have to charge this with the USB before charging the thing with the USB can this work on its own I don't know I honestly do not know if this can actually even work on its own here. This is the link, everyone. We've kind of really been waiting for this, both from a business perspective and a personal pers perspective. Now, it does say that there's stuff right here. You do have power. You have front light. You have link wireless version and the link wired version. Wow. Okay. So there's two individual device bodies, and they're tooled differently. And what I mean by tooled is they actually are created in a different way, unless they're showing me one with the case, but you know what, I don't think they are, because look, that one doesn't have the bulge built in. So is this the wireless edition or the wired edition that you put in there? We don't know. This is crazy. This is the first device of its kind that's ever confused us this much. They did send us a press kit of all how this works and everything, but we don't go over that in the unboxing video. We never have, we never will, because that's the point of the unboxing video. We show how everything's packaged. We show the art on the box. We show the contents of what's coming inside the box. That's what it's all for. So which one do we have here then, based off of this photograph? So we have the wireless edition. All right, we don't have the wired edition, AKA the really small ink monitor. Wow, guys, this is really interesting. I don't even know if there's a battery on board or it's kind of like the Kindle Oasis where they do a 10, 90, 20, 80, 70, 30 split of battery priorities. I'm going to put that in the garbaggio. So it looks like they're using a completely matte screen. So there's no cutout at the top for any kind of glass screen that they put a screen protector over. It is a completely matte screen from head to toe. This thing is really light, extremely lightweight like no heft to this at all it feels it almost feels like there's nothing in there to be honest and it almost feels like there's nothing there it's very much more hollow than it feels like there's more meat on here and you get that gigantic bulge with a dasung logo and it's perforated so is that where the speaker is we'll have to find that all out in a second put that right there we usually show that at the end but we'll see what's going on oh and the cable for linkage this is the cable for linkage, everyone. I assume it's as easy as they said it's been. You put that in there and that in your computer and it links up. But this is also a wireless edition, meaning that you shouldn't need that. You should be able to turn this on, which we will do because one of these said it was the power, which is that one. So let's turn it on really quick, seeing that it is the wireless edition or if we have to put it in there. It looks like this might not have any batteries in it at all. 
we have to utilize this, which we'll just kind of shove it in there right now. So the top is jelly to accept that, and it might not have enough battery to even turn on because it only had one bar, but we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, it does not come charged, but this is a really cool package, everyone. I would have liked to see the bulge actually line up with the battery. I'm not an OCD or anything like that, but it does bother me from a creation perspective that that is not flush. So it kind of leads for when you press the side, it is not even. Had they accounted for the fact that that would be the same level as that, it would have made for a cleaner experience if you ever have it on here, because it looks like to some degree you do interact with this. And if it's on a tabletop, it is going to tilt. This is everything that comes in the box everyone with the Dasung Link, an absolute completely one-of-a-kind unit we have never seen before at Goody Reader or anything involving e-paper. This is incredibly unique and it's by a company that has been around for a long time and is a mainstream brand in the world of e-readers. Stay tuned for the full review.